Our software company that we're part of, um, they hold a annual uh, convention uh, out in California. And they had a video they just showed. It was like a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it was an AI bot in an earbud helping a technician. Yeah, that too. Yeah. With mm -hmm. audible diagnosis. Hey, it sounds like this with, mm -hmm. hey, uh, check that out. Make sure you don't forget about that. Yeah. I'm like, that's going to help oh, people. Yeah not forget and to make sure they have a fluid, you know, like follow through, even if they're not as knowledgeable. I think it'll help with the employees, but it'll also disrupt the industry a little bit. Cause a lot of people will be using AI to do it themselves, you know, like yeah. to, cause I've fixed that's a lot true. of things recently and like, it tells me things I didn't even think to think about, you know? So that's, that's going to be interesting as well too. <laughs> yep. Most yep. people, people will still not want to do that though. Yeah. So that you, there's the jobs still going to be needed. <laughs> yeah. You'll have something because people are less hands on these days than they ever have been. Mm -hmm. so oh yeah. There's that. But if they have a mechanical inclination and mm -hmm. they're not scared of electricity and they're yeah. not urgent, you know, on a flood, you know, from plumbing or whatever, then yeah, they could do that. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have severe weather to where you'd have to have your AC within five minutes, you know, so there would be time for things like that. I think. Yeah. The replacement of one, I wouldn't want to be a homeowner swapping out a furnace and air conditioner, but Absolutely, there's yeah. a lot to